All right, so I'm doing just a little bit of broadcasting while I eat some dinner and do some studying. Doing my PvP matches every 10 minutes, I get to do another one. Currently ranked 22. So let's see what we hit this time. this team before so it's really important not to let her get the immunity off if she gets the immunity off I lose this team or to this team but since they're all locked down I don't think that that's gonna be much of a problem this fight Darkseed started to not have much in the way of hit points. Probably a lot of defense, but not the hit points. This should kill the Sea Star off. And then I'll lock down whoever shows up another Sea Star. At least I'll try to lock down the Sea Star that shows up. Let's see. Yep. So this was a near flawless fight. I only took one. Oh, he's shielded, but his shield's not going to matter. Because I pulse way more damage than that shield can block. Hmm. As stated. So you just have to wait a little bit for me to do the next match. Do a Lupin fight in the meantime. Not sure what that was.
fuck off. So because I have 10 minutes between matches, um, I'm doing my note taking too so for my classes. So for example, making index cards where doing definitions. So contingency theory is whereby organizations are made effective by aligning their multiple subsystems in ways that maximize performance for their particular situation. So in this particular situation, C stars are very popular, as is the Dark Sig Free to get the defense boost, as is the Persephone for healing for everybody else. But, unfortunately for them, my team works really well against this because I lock down the two main damage dealers, the crit-based damage dealers, which are going to be the two C-stars. See if I can get them both locked down with the suns. So I've locked down two of them. Oh, I got weakened. Oh, the Persephone has a weakened skill. Look at that. All right, well, that's fine. doesn't really matter if she gets weakened because she's not my major damage dealer anyway. And we try to stun the rest of them. And their team is now locked out. Now, I've got to be careful that I don't... The high levels and the low levels, you got to be careful on these fights. When the backup comes in, they come back in at full, P, um, full potential. Or they have their SP bar filled. So you don't want to kill stuff when you don't mean to kill it. Otherwise, someone comes in and wipes your team because everyone has high damage outputs for the last person to show up. Now, oh, she's got high damage output on her own little lonesome, doesn't she? All right, well, let's see if we can get this to work. So we're going to go for a shock. And then the U key is the awe 
So shock followed by awe was enough. This is the Hannah, which is fine. So I'm going to I, I'm going to go ahead and just go for the kill. She'll get a shield off, but that's not going to matter. Um, I'll just go for SP. Right now, they just have healing, and their healing is not going to be able to outdo the damage I'll be able to throw. So we'll go after the Persephone to start with. Actually, you know what? I can go after both of them because I can just do this and then work on locking them down. She has Fiery Resolve, but she's now stunned. So while she had Fiery Resolve, it didn't really matter much for her overall well-being. Let's go ahead and lock on her and smack her. So she's dead. And... Throw the book at her some swords. She'll get some healing because she's a heal set, but it doesn't really matter because it's flat. So I'm going to go do another Lupin dungeon.
max PvP match. Beat this team. Oh, I didn't pop it that time. Oh, totally did not pop it. Oh, this would be depressing. Neither of them critted. Some bad luck so far this fight. That's better. That's bad news for that team. I'm just showing somebody on my phone where the ranking here works. So you see my rank's currently number 12. You can over here click on rankings to see where people are at. This number one guy was at over 3,000 a little earlier today. He's at 2964. I fought him and beat him, so I can beat that team. I bought it, beat it several times now. Um, and you scroll down and 11. And there's me, 12 war dragons right there. Wow, going from 12 to 11 is only a five point increase. Going from 11 to 10 is a basically a 40 point increase going from 10 to 9 is another 20 point increase 9 to 8 is 50 points 8 to 7 is 5 7 to 6 is like 40 6 to 5 is 50 5 to 4 is basically 20 4 to 3 is 35 
3 to 2 is another 40, and 2 to 1 is effectively 1,000 points. When I get wins, I net 15 point ups, or 15 points at a time. I only have four tickets left. I could buy tickets, but I, I don't ever buy tickets. They're, the goal is to get Astro Gems, not spend them for this. So I don't ever, I have never actually purchased um, Astro Gem tickets. Lupin shards. Let me do some more runs here. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Let me jump back over to PvP Realm. 40 seconds.
Let's see who's next. It's this team again. <laughs> this team I'm getting tossed against quite a lot, which is interesting. And there's really no change in my strategy against this team. Although he hit me hard that time. Look at that damage. It's quite a lot. I didn't actually put him to sleep. That's unfortunate for me. Wow, and I didn't take that sea star on it. Wow, multiple of my random number generations failed me badly this match. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this match here. I've had some really bad random numbers show up. Oh, and one of them had the um, SP Whittle. I'm not going to win this fight. Um, just the random numbers didn't go my way at all. He hammered my um, mini book girl pretty hard. I'll restart it. I can I can beat that team. Um, just didn't get it that time. That's why I was usually concentrated on those sea stars, but the Siegfried hit my book girl really hard, unfortunately. All right, so let's try this again. Yeah, yeah. And try to shock her off this time. There we go. Much better random number tribute that time for me. I locked out three of them. some more for some more SP orbs. Hmm. Apparently I chose poorly for which one to go after there. That's all right. This isn't for the kill on any of them. It's just to lock them down, which I did. And this will get rid of all of their dark units that are on the board currently. Followed by Hannah showing up, which I actually meant to debuff, not do that, but whatever. Oh, oops, you didn't actually go yet. I did mess this part up. Oh, and I gave her, well, she's not going to use the resolve. She's throwing her SP boost, which at this point just doesn't matter. Um, wood, light. Right. 
Fair enough. Yeah. Auto on, auto off. She got her stone on me. Not that it mattered, but she can sweep it off. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, how did you want to get in the next Lupin charge? I need that one.
Oh, hello, Professor Zoom. And yes, the Sonic Collab units are still useful to use. Um, the light units, the water unit, I like the shadow unit. I'm not using any of them in PvP, but I do use them in... Uh, I use the water Sonic especially over on the Dimensional Rifts. I'm actually studying and writing no cards, which is why I've been looking down a lot um, and working on PvP fights right now. So if you're still here, feel free to check out my match. Let me know what you think. Let's see what I get this time. Mm -hmm. Silver. That was the light unit's name. Silver at Evo 3 is still quite useful, I guess. Um, I haven't really seen them use much in PvP. I do definitely make use of the Sonic. Alright, so this team is not one that I fought going up the rankings previously. But in general, I know what this team does. So they have a lot of SP build. So let's go ahead and get rid of some of that. So those two are their SP builders to build the Griffin, who has a 50%. Oh, okay, wow. Good resistances. I want immunity on her. Well, that's all right. I can deal with immunity on her. This team must have a full set going. Let's see what we get here. So shocks. I cannot knock out the succubus for the light succubus right now. Um, got a good chunk of SP orbs coming, so I will go ahead and drop her alt. Shadow is. I think shadow is an awesome unit. I use Shadow a lot for a lot of different things, so definitely one of my fave units to use. All right, so we're going to get rid of the light guy on the left, Bring in a, brought in a dark Fenrir, which is fine. So the shield he came in with has 15,000 hit points. Let's see if we can just pop that bubble right now with this alt. Yep, you're sapped. I do not want the Dark Fenrir to get his ult off, so we're going to shut it down. Oh, I was so close to having my other Yuki's ult up and ready. But it's going to be more than enough to crit on the sleeping unit and put it away. Pop. And honestly, I don't really care at this point if their Griffin gets his ult off. They don't have anybody to that debuffs matter against me for now. But I stunned it off anyway, so. Um, the tails, I don't use very often. I have it at Evo 3. I like the knuckles. The knuckles I use in the, um, I'll show you where I use it. The wood Colossus, I use the knuckles in that fight. Um, in the Ancient Dungeon, under the Ancient Colossus, for the Wood Colossus, I use the Knuckles. Because he gets he gets stronger and stronger each time, so he's used there. I use him in other things as well. If I'm doing um, Wood Golems, I'll use him, just because he boosts up over time for the turns. He's fairly useful, so I like Knuckles. Um, I don't think I have him as... Maybe I have him as a variant. I don't, I don't honestly remember if I do or not. I might. How am I doing to get this last Lupin? Let's see. I need one more clue to do the last Lupin for the day. So I'll head back over here. And do this for a few more minutes until the next PvP comes up. Hello, Burrito Bot. What questions might you have about Monster Super League? Look at your message in a second. I'm writing some stuff on note cards for my classes. If you guys want to see any of my units and how I have them built, feel free to let me know and I'll go and show them.
So, yeah, these are my note cards I'm working on writing. Welcome back, Brito. Oh. Um, I mean, as the game goes, it's a very friendly to beginners game. It has the story modes will get you going pretty easily. Any of the monsters on any of the maps you can capture and use for yourself, which is absolutely awesome. I love that about this game. Um, the Hero Festival is running right now, so don't ever spend Astro Gems except during one of the Hero or Clan Festivals. And only ever spend it, um, I'll show you, I'll show you after this fight where to spend it. Yeah. I'll just, just auto and then I'll just show you on the main, the main area where to spend it at. Yeah, um, they have, you know, Zoom, if you've been out for a while, you know they have super ascensions for both the Monas and the Sea Stars. Um, and then they have, well, they have ascensions and now they have super ascensions as well, which is what you'd need the dimensional, there's the loot bomb shard I need, which is what you need the dimensional stones for. Um, let me check real quick what my timer is in my PvP match. It is four minutes, okay. So I'll show you. Zoom, if you haven't seen it, this is the Dimensional Rift. Oh, you know what? I still have one more entry to do today. So I'll try to do this entry and we'll see how it goes. This is my team for the Dark guy. These Dimensional Rifts are really difficult. Um, so this is like the current end end game stuff. But you've got to do these Rifts in order to get the Dimensional Stones so you can super ascend your Astromons, which give them... Uh, turn off the auto. It That gives them like one out of... 12 different at random special abilities. Well, I think there's just a pressure change. I'm hearing my ears hum. Yeah, it's if you've been out for a while, you, you definitely have fallen off the track a little bit. But that's what's cool about this game. You can always catch back up. Uh, who didn't you didn't finish your attack? So the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday dimensional dungeons are the easiest ones to do. Zoom, I would suggest you do those. Um, there are going to be some guides on them, how to do them. I've got other videos up on my YouTube channel that show how I beat each one of them. I've only just recently had teams that have been consistent at beating the light and dark. Um, you can continue in these maps. Uh, I will warn against it for the most part because if you do continues, it takes 10 Astro Gems to do a continue. And the boss, especially if you're at the boss on the map, unless he's got very little health left, the boss will continuously become stronger and stronger and harder and harder for you to successfully beat. So I would suggest not continuing if you're like at the boss and he's got more than half health left. You'll just be wasting your Astro Gems. And yes, that is Dark Aphrodite, Dark Venus. Um, she is here so because she throws her attack down. If I had a Dark Leo, I would bring Dark Leo on this run. I don't have a Dark Leo. So she's here for the attack down and the attack boost. And obviously she gives me some healing. So she is useful. On this, so this run, all of these units are four star units. The Banshee um, uh, ascended, the Sea Star ascended, the Yuki super ascended, and the Venus just a normal Venus. He's done giving me SP orbs too, but my Banshee has SP. She has the siphon sets. She actually gets bonus SP each time she does damage. So, because she has SP, she can light these guys up. Hit that one with the defense break already. It's going to be dead now. And we'll go ahead and kill this one off. So there's just two of these guys left. I want to go into the next fight with full SP for everybody. So I'm not going to 
use any of my ults on this fight here for this round because so there's on these dimensional dungeons there's an intro to build your sp a mini boss another wave to get your sp back and then you're at the boss itself so there are four waves when you hit this oh he didn't die i didn't land a defense break there i guess and he stunned me that wasn't nice of him was it well he doesn't have to worry about stunning me anymore Um, the Light Venus will not help you on this map. Uh, I would probably not take the Light Venus to any of the maps for the Dimensional Dungeons. Alright, so my goal here is I'm going to throw to start with the attack up and heal up. And then I'm going to throw defense break hopefully for everybody. Let's see. Yes, nice. And then I'm going to throw my Yuki's super attack. She's like the Captain Avenger of Super Attacks at that point. So the side guys are toast. Every fifth attack on the dimensional boss, he throws a retaliate. It's a non-resistible, non-removable. On your next turn, you take, I think from this guy, 10,000 damage. So you take a good chunk of damage from him. Um, let me get some of these timings right. I'm trying to land some combos. He also... Uh, becomes increases every his attack power defense and recovery every three turns i got hit with a deep uh debuff on the banshee um, this isn't doing too badly though i'll save the heal for next turn which will also give me the attack up again yeah see the attack down meant i took considerably less damage than i would have otherwise there so we'll go ahead and throw the oh, should have thrown that first. That's all right. The Banshee's not my damage dealer on these fights. The Yuki and the Sea Star are the damage dealers. Alright, we'll just let that for one auto. The light version gets hit points back <laughs> every three or four turns. It's very, very painful as that continues to trigger. I'm going to go ahead and throw the heal, just because I want the attack up and my guys at full health, because his ult's coming in. I still have the attack broken on him, which means he does not do as much damage as he did, but he did double the damage he did last time with that ult. So his damage does scale up fast. Yeah, Burrito, the tutorial is good. Um, it's, you get some good stuff out of it. Um, I'm just going to auto this to finish this guy off. Alright, so you have to have 100. And Professor, this is for you. You've got to have 100 of these dimensional shards, which look like this actually i got two of them so i got two i got lucky on that um you have to have a hundred of them to do the super ascension you have to have a hundred high stones that's the white high stones to do the super ascension and you have to have three million gold um, and if you get an alt skill that you don't like if you reset it you have to spend all of those ingredients again do not reset whatever skill you get just get it and move on I got a couple that are really good, I think, for my units, and then one that's like, why did that unit get that skill? All right, so Burrito, the special shop, this is every day. You can do three of these free summons once a day, um, 30 minutes apart. You'll get a three to five star unit. If you get incredibly lucky, you get a five-star unit. And if you get that during the Hero Festival, then you get a free egg with another five-star unit. So very lucky when that happens. I've had that happen maybe two or three times since I've been playing the game. But during the Hero Festival, 600 Astrogems lets you do um, a pull. I'll show you. 
So this is the egg that I just hatched. It's not gonna be a five star because that would be too lucky to have happen right now. So if I were to hit this, um, I don't really want to spend it. It'll ask me to confirm. I'm not going to. What it will do is it'll summon 10 units plus one bonus unit. So you get 11 units. The bonus unit will be an automatic variant no matter what fills in that slot. If you do get a five star, it'll give you an egg to get a free five star. I'm actually holding off until the next clan festival, which is I'm building my Astro gems up for that. Um, clan festival works a little bit differently. You have to be in a clan and you have to beat Pagos Coast on like hard in order to get into a clan to start with. The Water Garuda. Um, Water Garuda is defense break and everything is treated as its weakness. You can use it. No one's using it in PvP. I mean, I may have seen it once at some of the lower tiers. Um, it, it's not what people are actively using in PvP. Um, it depends what your end game is. If you're going to be going after dungeons, Water Garuda can be useful. The, the, and I'll tell you what the problem is. When you hit something with defense break, if you don't kill it, the next turn everybody focuses on that. So if you're trying to clear waves of Astromons quickly, it means they're not spreading their damage out, which means it takes a little bit longer to do that clear, if that makes sense. I mean, don't be wrong, I've got it in EVO 3 Water Garuda. Um, the Garudas are units that do come up fairly frequently for five stars. Uh, all right, well, this is, I fought this team a number of times now. Interesting that I'm against him again. So if I get lucky, I'll pop the shield and shock it on this attack. If I don't get lucky, I don't pop the shield. Popped it, didn't shock it. So we will debuff her and we will try for the stun across the board. I got two of four, that's not bad. All right, so we're gonna tag you. Again, I don't want to kill any of these units outright until I'm ready, because if I did that, what will happen is it will summon in the replacement and they'll be at full SP, and I do not want the replacement coming in with full SP. Uh, she actually is running a stun. I need to remember that he's got a stun set on her. All right, here we go. All right, so this fight, now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna make my attack, it's gonna kill off the guy I've highlighted. It'll summon in the backup, which I'll then target. And then basically I'm making sure that it can't kill me. So dropped that one, in comes the backup C star. So we're gonna go with, I'm gonna go with two chances to shock it out. If I land the shock here, this will be useful, let's see. Yep, so I can go ahead and use this alt because I shocked her. Otherwise I would use the 100% two turn sleep on the C star to make sure it didn't get a chance to attack. And this is just going to end badly for their team here. The sparklies as they all die. Oh, four contracts. Yeah, you can only pick one contract of three units. Oh, yeah, so that's not a problem. Hey, I got to number 11. Uh, I've got a friend I'm taking pictures and sending as I slowly bounce up the ranks. that Lupin. Actually, you know what? Let me see what the War Dragon fight is at the moment for clan fight. 
Um, okay, so just so you know, I picked Water Valkyrie because I liked how she looked. Um, she is a great unit. She does a lot of damage. Um, the Fire Arthur, though, will probably be better off for you because it's going to give you a stun with a defense break for the alt. So I'll probably go Fire Arthur for you. Um, do I want to switch any of these units out? I've been trying to tweak my team some for these fights to get a bit more damage in. Let's see here. Go that way for the defense break on the initial attack. And do I want to throw their healer there instead of one of the Pinocchios. You're not a healer. You know what? I think I will try that. I'm going to throw a different healer. I'm trying, like I said, I'm trying different things out. And I did just actually upgrade my Wood Odin to an Evo 3. What are his gem setting like? His gems aren't set up right to do. Well, he's got crits. Oh, they also implemented trinkets. Yeah, I think you'll be happy with the Fire Arthur. It is a good unit. if I want to put a different leader in the front spot here. Yes, I will pull you. And... Yep, I'm going to put him in instead. Alright, let's save this layout. Alright, let's give this a shot, see how the damage is for it. If you're curious, intersubjectivity is that realm of subjective experience occurring between people that produces a sense of shared history and culture. That's what I'm actually writing down on my note card.
By the way, Burrito, you'll notice, when my nose because just fell over, but I do have a Wood Miho fighting on this fight. Wood Miho will be a really good early, mid, and long-term unit for you. Not bad for the damage. So he reigned at 66 million damage. <laughs> God. <laughs> My teammates, they they do crazy damage. <laughs> I'm with the guy. I'm gonna comment on that.
All right, so pick that. Got 
It's more of the flourish arts. I get for the random here. Um, burrito, just so you can see, this guy actually has a Fire Arthur right here. Um, this team is actually quite problematic for me. So I will try it. I'll probably end up losing to it, and I will not refight it. Um, just because it's that that difficult to do. Both these guys are two turn stunners too, by the way. So I'm gonna see if I can get lucky. Maybe pop the Arthur. No, nope. I stunned the two side guys, but probably gonna get stunned. Oh, I made my resistances. That is very, 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 very good. I actually did not expect this fight to go this well. Yeah, but that guy, second one over is the Fire Arthur, his Evo 3 form. He is a really good unit. Um, fully upgraded. I'm sure this guy has it. He's a two-turn stunner instead of just a one-turn stunner. Um, let's see here. Let's see what happens if I set it this way. Alright, this guy will kill me if he ults. So the Dark Griffin, I fought him before. He does a lot of damage. So he's going to sleep. <laughs> There's the two turn stuns on both of those units against me. Um, but, big but, I have my super Yuki ult coming, which will kill everybody here, except maybe the wood guy. And then I shocked him because I, I'm, my two middle guys put a defensive, uh, sorry, resistance debuff which means I have a much better chance of hitting with my shocks, and so I beat him. All right, well, I'm going to head out. Um, you guys have fun. Burrito, it's a fun game. Um, my YouTube is the same, the DN Blumberg. If you want to look on videos I've got over there. Uh, if you have questions, drop me a line there. Um, anyway, have a good evening, folks. Bye.